You're listening to Civic Media. Stay up to date on the latest news and information for your local community and Wisconsin by signing up for our free email newsletter. Visit civicmedia.us slash email to get started. This is your WFHR Daily News Roundup for locally grown radio 97.5 FM and 1320 AM and Wisconsin Country 105.5 FM WIRI in Wisconsin Rapids. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Local governments around Wisconsin are getting $1.5 billion in shared revenue from the state. Nearly $300 million of that is coming from the new shared revenue formula put in place last year. Another $10 million is coming from Wisconsin's new tax on cable TV. Some of the new shared revenue dollars are earmarked for first responders. Efforts to protect the Mississippi River Basin from farm runoff have largely failed. Misa Khan is the former policy director for the Mississippi River Network. She says there needs to be more collaboration between states. The way that we operate right now is very much a state-by-state kind of choose-your-own-adventure. As much as 80 percent of the nitrogen flowing down the Mississippi comes from farms and livestock operations. Donald Trump has claimed the Biden-Harris administration let more than 400,000 convicted criminals into the U.S. But is that true? Here's Trisha Young. In Prairie du Chien, Donald Trump claimed Kamala Harris let in over 425,000 convicted criminals. However, ICE says that figure covers non-citizens convicted of crimes over the past 40 years, both before and after entering the U.S. Most of these individuals entered before the Biden administration. Research shows undocumented immigrants are not more likely than native-born Americans to commit crimes. I'm Trisha Young for Wisconsin Watch. Wisconsin prisons are no longer accepting donations of used books. That's because secondhand books are used to smuggle drugs behind bars. The move has its critics. A nonprofit called Wisconsin Books to Prisoners says the decision limits inmates' access to information and does nothing about other ways prisoners get a hold of drugs. Candlelight hikes return to Wisconsin State Parks for four weeks starting this weekend. Most events include pumpkin carving, campfires, and more. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Here's what you need to know closer to home. For WFHR and WIRI News, I'm Melissa Kay. Fall yard waste collection dates have been announced for the City of Wisconsin Rapids. The Public Works Department will provide fall yard waste and leaf collection on the weeks of October 14th through the 18th and November 4th through the 8th. You'll need to place your yard waste and leaves in paper waste bags and place them on the curb. No plastic will be accepted. You also have to call the city garage to be placed on the list for pickup. That number is 715-421-8218. You can also sign up at wirapids.org. You'll need to call before 2 p.m. today to be on the list for next week. For the November 4th pickup, sign up by November 1st. Compost sites are still open and waste can be taken there. The east side is tentatively set to close on November 13th, and the west side hours will change on November 15th. The Let's Keep Talking Parent and Caregiver series is next Tuesday in Marshfield. This month, they're talking about youth vaping prevention. Joanne Greenlee with the School District of Marshfield will talk about why teens vape and how to help. It'll be at the Marshfield Public Library on October 15th at 6 p.m. They'll be meeting in the Felker Room. Minnesota Governor and Democratic Vice Presidential Candidate Tim Walz is coming to Wisconsin on Monday. Walls will first appear at an event in Eau Claire before traveling to Green Bay. Walls was in Eau Claire in August. For his Monday Eau Claire visit, the Harris Walls campaign said that Walls will speak directly to voters, but no other details are available. It's the latest of several stops by candidates from both parties in the past two months in Wisconsin. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump was in Dodge County earlier this week. The Nature Conservancy conducted a controlled burn in Adams County this week. You may have seen smoke while traveling along State Highways 13 or 21. The Nature Conservancy was assisted by the Wisconsin DNR as well as other local, state, and federal agencies. These controlled burns are necessary to prevent wildfires from spreading and to control invasive species. Fire danger is still high in most of our listening area. A new report shows Wisconsin is seeing dam failures more frequently, in another sign that the state is seeing stronger storms. The Wisconsin Policy Forum released findings Thursday that show Wisconsin recorded 34 dam failures from 2000 through 2023, which was the second highest total for that period behind only South Carolina. 
The report says 28 of 34 failures have happened since the beginning of 2018. None of the dam failures resulted in loss of life. It's time to get your annual flu and COVID shots. Dr. Jim Conway from UW Health says, especially with COVID, it's not enough to have a previous vaccine or illness. He says the viruses keep mutating into different variants, so you'll have to be ready for the new versions of the illnesses. Dr. Conway said this year's flu shot will only cover three strains of the flu, since one entire strain of influenza was eradicated while people stayed home during COVID-19. Inland trout fishing season ends on October 15th. The Wisconsin DNR is reminding anglers the last day of the season is next Tuesday. After that, you can no longer fish inland streams, springs, and spring-fed ponds for trout or salmon. These fish can still be harvested from most inland lakes or ponds. You can visit dnr.wisconsin.gov for trout regulations and to find fishing locations across the state. And that's what you need to know. I'm Melissa Kay, WFHR and WIRI News. The Bucks and the Lakers put on a show. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with Sports NBA. It was just a preseason game, but the Bucks and the Lakers faced off in five serve form. Giannis against LeBron. Giannis with 20 points in 20 minutes of playing time. Bucks head coach Doc Rivers. Giannis got out running, and then every, the starters came back in and, and kept playing well. You need that sometimes, and I, I thought that happened. You know, I love how we play Bobby. Like he knows it coming in. Vinny Johnson or whoever else you want to name uh, the great guys coming off the bench. That we're going to you. You know, be responsible with it. He made a couple of good passes too, uh, but we want him to be aggressive. The Lakers held on to win 107 to 102. NFL, the Packers had to place tight end Luke Musgrave to IR due to a lingering ankle injury. The team signed Falcons tight end John Fitzpatrick off Atlanta's practice squad. College football, the Badgers play Rutgers tomorrow in New Jersey at 11 a.m. Head coach Luke Fickle says the younger players now will bode well for the future. This is what it takes to continue to build a program. You know, it doesn't always happen that way. Guys go down and guys don't take advantage of their opportunities. So that, there's some really good situations for young guys. I think that'll that'll bode really well for us in the, the stretch. That's the Badgers head coach, Luke Fickle. With sports, I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. There are no anticipated mega blockbusters opening this weekend, but there are some solid, well-reviewed films coming to the big screen. For your holiday horror pleasure, leading the way is the third installment in the Terrifier franchise. Terrifier 3 follows the survivors of a Halloween massacre by Art the Clown in Terrifier 2. The film is pulling in 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. For some good family fare, check out Piece by Piece, which tells the story of musical artist Farrell Williams' life using Lego animation. The film is directed by Won't You Be My Neighbor's Morgan Neville, and it's pulling in 88% on Rotten Tomatoes. And for those of you interested in the -the behind-the-scenes drama leading up to the first ever episode of Saturday Night Live back in 1975, it's Saturday Night, which offers an appearance by Wisconsin's own Willem Dafoe. Saturday Night is currently rating a 79% on Rotten Tomatoes. Let's go to the movies. Guy Ritchie is attempting to line up some heavy hitters for his new project. The director of films like Snatch and Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels is in talks with Pierce Brosnan, Helen Mirren, and Tom Hardy to star in his new series for Paramount+, Plus, tentatively called Guy Ritchie's The Associate. Deadline.com reports that the hour-long drama will tell the story of two generations of gangsters in the UK. There is no release date yet set. Martin Scorsese is getting on in years and makes very long films. The 81-year-old director has been in this racket for 60 years and says he has no intention of slowing down. Deadline reports that Scorsese has put his project about Frank Sinatra on hold while he works on a movie about Jesus. The director says he was inspired to tell the story of Jesus after meeting the Pope at Vatican City last year. He says he is hoping God gives him strength to finish both films. It's been 30 years since the film Speed was released. In honor of the milestone, Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock reunited in Los Angeles at the Egyptian Theater for an anniversary screening. The film made Bullock a star. She was joined after the screening by Reeves for a Q&A. Reeves talked about working with Dennis Hopper and of the professionalism shown by Jeff Daniels and at one point said, we knew we were making something wacky. I guess that means he's proud of the film. If you're feeling nostalgic and aren't into Halloween movies, check out the re-release of The Nightmare Before Christmas, which actually might remind you of Halloween. The film hits theaters this weekend for a limited run. The Tim Burton film was originally released in 1993. The stop animation film will be playing on over a thousand screens across America this weekend. The film received a 95% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes and a 92% with audiences. For more showbiz fun, tune into Nightlight with me, Peach Waba, weeknights from 6 to 8 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network.
One more warm day today, then fall is going to kick in over the weekend, and we may actually have some frost or a hard freeze by early next week. Today, partly cloudy, becoming sunny, 74 this afternoon, 42 tonight, tomorrow, mostly cloudy, afternoon, evening sprinkles with a high of 61. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Outside now, it's 53. That's your WFHR and WIRI Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WFHR.com or WISCountry. That's WISCountry.com. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about. 